There's a Syrian kid needs to be picked up for question. Jake, you're on point. I play Jake, who's a police officer, and I'm uh, on the wrong side of the fence when the cordon goes down. Uh, and sort of, this guy is, um, like I said, he's, he's introverted, he's a little hardened, he's, a, he's kind of a guy who's dealt with a lot in his life, and so he's a little closed off emotionally. Uh, and when he gets stuck inside, his first impulse is to protect himself. And so he sort of shirks responsibility and tries to, you know, see how he can survive, how he can, you know, get out, if, if, if that's an option. And uh, his story is going to be one, ultimately, of seeing if he can, you know, step up to the plate and become the hero that everyone sort of needs him to be. Okay. And what's interesting about this show, for my character, is I'm trapped inside facing a perpetual state of hypervigilance and there almost is no rest and so you see this character being put into action uh, all day every day um, and fighting for his life and everyone around him quite literally to have an actual cordon an area of the town that is that's locked up locked down because the virus is that lethal um, there's not really a checklist for for officers inside officers outside and it leaves you sort of left to your own devices and these guys are trained to make the right choice but um, if there isn't sort of an example for what is right and what is wrong you're left to just kind of figure it out.